Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's uh, content straight away because currently Bitcoin is falling from this rising wedge that we created yesterday and uh, currently it looks like although that we are testing now the new resistance here at around 10,800 dollar so i'm expecting a bounce here because we came down to the 200 moving average in the one hour time frame and if it's going to be sustainable this is what we're going to have to see here in the next couple of hours and of course all the way we're going to close the daily candle but at the moment it looks like that we're coming now down from this uh, bearish pattern here and we could expect a continuation to the downside the only bullish thing currently is really that here in the one hour we bounce from the 200 moving average and if here we're not able to close hourly candles again above ten thousand eight hundred dollar i think we have the confirmation that we will go lower i took a little short position up here but really just a small one because i was expecting to stay in this rising wedge a little bit more before breaking to the downside but we had already the breakout overnight at least here for european times and uh, you can also see that the rsi currently is coming down to oversold condition so this bounce to the upside here was expected i also got a buy signal here in the one hour time frame if it's gonna be sustainable i don't think so most likely we're getting rejected here at this ten thousand eight hundred dollar level this is what we're gonna have to see now in the next couple of hours and although if we have a look here into the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading again in the lower area and in theory now the middle line here of ten thousand seven hundred seven and this should be now the new resistance stochastic is coming also from oversold condition now into neutral territory we have macd and kst still shifted to the downside but as you can see it looks like that we could form here a bullish cross in the next couple of hours if you're able to push towards 10,770 and start to consolidate here or at least create a support again above the middle line if this is not the case then i'm expecting continuation to the downside also for the next couple of hours and if we're gonna have a look into the dxy you can see that currently we're coming now down towards the 200 moving average here at 9390 and uh, you can see that the 20 moving average is giving us resistance so far if here we are able to push higher towards the 50 moving average or even up here towards uh, the resistance that we have currently here at around 9480 then i'm expecting a major drop in the bitcoin price and also here the dxy in the one hour time frame is also looking quite bullish in my opinion i'm expecting a bounce here if we're coming to the 200 moving average because we have the rsi currently oversold and also i got here some buy signals and that's why i think the dxy is about to pump again towards the resistance here of 9480 and if we are able to push higher than 9480 then prepare for a major crash in the bitcoin price because if we are able to break from this huge resistance i'm expecting a big sell-off in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price i will explain why that in the daily time frame here on the dxy but first let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the four our time frame because here we are still trading below the 20 and 200 moving average we had yesterday this breakout from the 200 moving average i told you guys wait for confirmation wait for a retest of the 200 moving average if it's gonna hold then we're good to go to the upside but as you can see we came down to the 200 moving average and we crashed below and we even closed below the 20 moving average so far only the 50 moving average here 10,615 is holding as a support but i think most likely Likely we will see continuation to the downside here if we are getting now the confirmation that 10,780 is now the new resistance and this is also where maybe I gonna add another trade with bitcoins here on Bybit because the trade that I took yesterday I took with tether because I have now some tether on the sideline with the profits that I took and I'm also trading with tether sometimes even here on a Bybit or on Bityard and uh, maybe i'm gonna open up another short position here 10770 and uh, therefore i want to see first confirmation that we're getting rejected here with a four hour close below 10770 i got up here a sell signal in the four hour time frame so that makes me also more confident that we will most likely see continuation at least to retest here this area at around 10500 dollar maybe even go lower towards 10,000 again to test this area and create also a lower low that is still possible and this could also initiate the beginning 
of our dump towards a 200 daily moving average or at least where the CME gap is at $9,600. But of course, it's still early to tell. We are still here fighting with this $10,800 area. So let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours. But at the moment, I'm still a bit more bearish than bullish, at least here for the short to mid term. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, you can see that also here we had a close in the lower area and currently we are fighting with the middle line here of 10,770. The good thing is that the stochastic cooled off here. We are in oversold condition and currently we could see a bullish cross and this could initiate a possible push towards $10,800 and even higher. But if we are getting rejected here or if here we just have a wick to the upside and then close this four hour candle here below the midline, then I'm expecting continuation to the downside and this was just a fake out. But let's see what will happen here in the next couple of hours. KST and MACD are shifted to the downside, so they are also looking quite bearish in my opinion. Only the stochastic could initiate here a possible push through here, this $10,800 resistance. But as I told you, my friends, maybe we're going to see a week to the upside. It's going to be depend where we're going to close the four hour candle and if we switch over into the dxy here you can see that also we had here a sell signal and currently we are seeing a pullback from this resistance up here and it is also likely that we're coming down here to test the 200 moving average here in the dxy at 9320 and this could initiate a possible pump in the bitcoin price if the dxy is coming down to these levels and you can see that this blue line here is a very important support line because currently we are bouncing from it. So it is possible that we are coming down to retest this blue line and then start another attempt here to break this resistance here at 9460. So it doesn't matter if currently you are in a long position or a short position. I think there are still chances for both directions. And it's also going to be depending where the DXY is going to break out from this pattern that we are currently in, where we're going to see the biggest move to the upside or to the downside in the Bitcoin price. But currently, I still think we will see some sideways moving a bit, chopping around here up and down before we're going to see a clear breakout. And now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because currently the daily time frame is a very important time frame to watch because here you can see clearly the patterns that we are building up in the Bitcoin price and also in the DXY. And here on the Bitcoin price, you can see that we are still here trading along the 20 daily moving average. So far, we didn't have a major pump or dump from this moving average. Usually I'm expecting always a big bounce or rejection at these levels, but currently we are just trading sideways. And this is all also what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours and days that we're just going to trade along here the 20 daily moving average before we're going to see a clear breakout here. And uh, in the daily, you can also see that we have a clear support here at $10,100 and the resistance up here of 11,370. So I think everything between these levels here is very realistic to reach even without a couple of hours. But we want to wait here for a clear breakout to the upside here or to the downside to see a big move incoming because if we're going to lose here this $10,000 I'm expecting the price to come down here towards the 20 daily moving average maybe even lower but at least to retest here this $9,000 area close also the CME gap and bounce from an important moving average and even if we would see here a breakout to the downside we will remain bullish because we will still be trading above the 200 daily moving average and as long as the 20 and 50 daily moving average are above the 200 daily moving average we will remain on our bull market so even if you see the price dropping towards 9k take it as a good buy and long opportunity rsi right now is also at the 50 level so we are in a very critical point right now and if we open up the daily time frame you can see that in theory we are still bullish because we are trading above the middle line so in theory we could go easily towards eleven thousand one hundred dollar but the only problem here is also that every time we're trying to push higher immediately the bears are coming in and selling the price so you see that the sell pressure is still here and the more we are testing here this middle line the weaker it gets so as soon as we're going to have a daily close below this $10,600 middle line, I think we will initiate here a possible dump at least towards $10,200, the bottom here of the Bollinger Band. Stochastic is also in neutral condition, same like the RSI. MACD and KSD are still shifted to the upside. So that is, of course, bullish. And that's why we are seeing currently still some pushes to the upside here. 
but if here also we're gonna have a bearish cross then prepare the price to come at least down towards 10k very fast and now let's switch over into the dxy chart because this is very very important here the dxy is currently forming a falling wedge in the daily time frame which could be very dangerous for the stock market and also for the bitcoin price because if here we're going to have a breakout to the upside so if here we're going to break out through this 9480 there is a very high chance that we will go at least towards the 200 daily moving average here at 97 dollar this is also where i'm expecting this possible breakout to the upside to top out also because here in the past we had a lot of resistance and support so i think this level is very significant and if we are really able to go even above the 200 daily moving average here then in theory the target is where this falling wedge started so it would be up here at around 100 dollar and that could bring a very similar crash like we had in march so that's why my friends it is very dangerous if the dxy is breaking out here to the upside because in that case we will see a major sell-off and of course that would be the perfect opportunity to go long and buy in back into all the altcoins and bitcoin that you wanted to buy once we had here a nice bull rally because the next bull run will come and i think that could be really the last opportunity if the dxy is breaking out here to the upside to buy very cheap coins and i'm not expect here the breakout to be so huge that we will reach again this 100 dollar but at least if we have a breakout the 200 daily moving average for sure we're going to test because it acted as a very strong support and resistance in the past and this could be also the case here if we're gonna have a breakout to the upside only if the dxy is really coming down again here to test the blue line and also go below so if we're gonna lose this support that we're creating so far and maybe go down towards this 91 dollar then okay i think we will see a big run up in the bitcoin price and all in the stock market before a possible crash but as long as we're staying in this bullish pattern in the dxy there is still a very high chance that we could see a big sell-off in the traditional markets and also in the bitcoin price mm -hmm. so that's why i'm still not scaling in big long positions and also not going all in back in bitcoin because currently i still think as long as we're trading within this bullish pattern in the dxy it is very dangerous to go all in right now because a possible sell-off could be happening if here we're going to break out to the upside but i think we are coming very close to an end here because we are building up a nice support here only if we would lose this one here break below and also break below this 91 dollars so if we would break out to the downside here from this bullish pattern then i think this will be the beginning of the next major big parabolic move in the bitcoin price so let's see what the dxy is doing in the next couple of days if we have a look also into the rsi you can see that we are currently overbought so there is still a high chance that we could at least retrace back down to 93 dollars and test again this blue line that is very likely also my own indicator is showing that we are getting into very overbought condition and we could get a sell signal here pretty soon so let's see what will happen in the next couple of days and where we're going to close these daily candles also here in the dxy and if you're interested in watching my own indicator with the 24 7 live stream over on discord then make sure to first join our free discord trading chat is completely for free and if you want to see the live stream and then contact me over there on discord you can send me a private message that you want to watch my own indicator and of course if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps and if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage those are the exchanges that i recommend you and if you sign up with my links you can get some rewards and also you support the channel especially bybit femex and bityard i recommend you very much they give you the best bonus and also they have a great community and they do very often events where you can get even more rewards and nice trading opportunities so definitely go and sign up to those exchanges if you're interested in trading bitcoin and other assets and if you're new in the crypto space then use the links down below here to open an account on coinbase or swiss Borg, for example where you can easily buy all the cryptos that you want with your bank account so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content please moon up the likes very much appreciated also leave me any kind of comment that you want because i read every comment that you leave here and also subscribe to the channel of course very important to get always notified when i upload a video so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye